have to mix everything up. There's no problem, okay? We're gonna be respectful to one another. It doesn't matter where you believe the beans have to be in your plate, or if you don't like beans at all. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and it's rise. up and running. Thank you, sir. Now we're live here on YouTube. Vanda just joined us. Hello, Vanda. How are you doing? Yeah, great. Okay. You guys already know the rules. Do you guys have any questions? No? All righty. Then what we're going to do is to get into the rooms. This is going to separate us into the rooms here right now. Uh, we are in eight people. So it's going to be four people in each room. When you get to the rooms, you introduce yourself. Then you get the questions in the chat and you start working with them. Okay. Yes. I guess I need to delete the first one that to get myself inside. Yes. Yeah. Just here. Yeah, let me try. Yes, I guess now it's working. And um, it's one room with four people and four in the main room. Yeah, That's... it's up now. Awesome. Okay. Do you guys have any questions before we go to the rooms? Right. No question. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. So, who's that? Yeah. Introduce yourself to us, please. So, first of all, I'm José. Uh, actually, I'm from Brazil. I live in Tatiba City, small town. I've been studying on TNT since July 2021. Actually, I'm from... I'm a host from TNT, where I believe it, that immersion are fun, effective, natural, convenient, and so many things to improve our English. So, I would say we are here just to become more confident and to get a lot of ex experience from you guys and first of all i would say happy new years for all of you guys and i hope this year is, it's always rock for yourself guys so yeah that's it have fun and let's talk it louder and have fun <laughs> perfect by the way congratulations yeah thank you on becoming a host here with us it's awesome i Still going to one of your meetings on Saturday, but usually Saturdays at work, so yeah. I can't be there. But I'm, I'm gonna try one day. Nice. Now, Mr. Marcio, would you tell us about yourself? Yeah, I, I, I'm from Sao Paulo, I live in, in Guarulhos. I think it's this way for uh, Atibaia, too. So, so I, I work with IT, and nowadays I work at home, and I, I believe that today it is a private class because everyone is a teacher. <laughs> kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a have... teacher, just yeah, a hoster, <laughs> just yeah. try to improve my English. The only kid, student here. Yeah. <laughs> No, we are the student. Usually we have one teacher for three people, and I'm going to have three, <laughs> two teachers and a host for one yeah. <laughs> student. Thank you. That's <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Oh, but at the end of the day, we're all students because we're all still learning, and that's what, you know, makes it so much fun. It's nice. Okay. Fernando. You're up. Hello, guys. Um, I am 33 years old. I live in Brasilia. Um, I'm still not a teacher, but I want to become one. <laughs> I, this is my goal for, for this year. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I have to go to become an English teacher. And, and that's why I'm, I'm here to practice a lot. I've been studying uh, English uh, a lot lately. <laughs> And um, what else? I work as uh, uh, an administrative assistant uh, on, on a government agency. Uh, I love music. Uh, 
Uh, so this topic is very interesting uh, for me. And I, I love all kinds of art, actually. Uh, movies, I am a, a movie addict too. Oh, so nice. that's, that's great. And that's it, basically. Okay, can I make you a question? Sure. And I've always been, I've always been curious about what's written in those uh, signs in your wall. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, are signs of uh, fictional cities uh, like Winterfell, uh, Wonderland, Gotham City, Metropolis? Oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, a, a nerd thing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> I, that's something I would have in my wall, so I feel you. <laughs> Great. We fell in Gotham. <laughs> Gotham City. Gotham is... I don't know why, why people live in Gotham. That city is per chaos and crime. Why do people still live in Gotham? It's like... Yeah, just move but, already. But I think we, we have a lot of Gothams in the real world to... Yeah, there's that. <laughs> so we need to ask these people, why do you still live there? I know some people don't have the, the choice, right? Um, well, I'm Junior, 21 years old. I am a little bit of an art fan myself. I enjoy movies. I love music. Music for me is one of the greatest thing ever. Actually, last night we were talking about love and immersion, and we talked a little bit about... I talked a little bit about how, like, I love music and I would love somebody who could play for me. It would be, like, really great. Um, and we could, like, play together and this kind of stuff. I also love literature, which I consider a form of art. I just bought two new books that I'm very happy about and I'm going to read during this month. Uh, and I still have all of those in there to read as well. So, <laughs> you know, those people who continue buying books and they don't read, they just buy and they say they are going to read and they never. <laughs> I do. I do know. <laughs> I am actually. Yeah. I'm that person. So that would be it. Now for question number one, we're going to go straight to the point. We're not going to start like, oh, do you like art? But we're going to go for it. Marcio, are you a good artist? And what kind of art do you like to make? Because <laughs> I think everybody does some kind of art. Yeah, 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 I don't know. I don't know if it is an art, but uh, I like to dance. <laughs> that and, is? Yeah, and, and this week I watched the, the Minister of the Woman Rights from Brazil dancing, dancing samba rock. Is a cuter from Sao Paulo. I like it. <laughs> That's really cool. Where where is it? Is it like on YouTube? Yeah, YouTube, WhatsApp, and like Hidef and and Paula Lima was singing and he danced and some <laughs> Oh, that's awesome! I want to watch it later. Great. Oh wow, and. So your art is dancing. Do you consider yourself a good artist? No, no artist, but I, I dance. But I don't know. A, I, I don't know an artist. But I think this is an art. No, you are the artist. You are the dance artist. <laughs> I dance. Yeah, then you are an artist as well. <laughs> awesome. What about you, Zé? Are you a good artist? What kind of art? Do you like to make? Yes, to be honest with you guys, I'm not a good artist from anything. It's like a piece of crack, you know. <laughs> and but I like it to feel some art like graffiti when you draw on the wall or something like that. Or as Marcio said, dance the dancer guys, especially when you see a lot of uh, acrobacies that come from you really excited about to see how it's possible to do uh, the movement from body as well, you know, it's, it's really nice. But 
uh, I needed to figure out something this year to try to look something to maybe building or to improve my skill, like uh, draw draw something or not like singer because it's my voice is is raspy <laughs> and I don't know, but uh, art for for life it is better to to feel that you know. Oh great. If your voice were just a little bit lower, yeah. you could you could sing like uh those, you know those more samba like it's <laughs> <Yes>. a <laughs> Oh great. And what about you, Fernando? What kind of art do you like making? Are you a good artist? Um I consider myself a, an artist, but uh, if I am good or not depends on the public <laughs> because I think it's this is very uh, a very uh, depends on, on each person because uh, somebody can like it somebody not <laughs> as every uh, other art I play some instruments. Uh, you know, the basic ones like guitar, bass, uh, drums, and I've been yeah. learning how to play the, the piano as well. I, I love music. I, I've always been in love with music. Uh, but I think I'm not a good uh, player. I think I'm a better uh, composer and producer, maybe, but not to be on, on the stage, you know, like to be in the... Uh, background uh, oh you yeah, like backstage much like performing yeah i think more like that and i also uh like uh writing things texts and and so on nice that's awesome that's awesome so you you're like composing do you, like you have songs yeah i do I, I played in some bands and uh, and even to, to other bands, I composed uh, some songs. I, I really like. Uh, what kind of uh, instrument that you play? Uh, so I, I played the, the most common ones like guitar and bass. Okay. Uh, and now I've been trying to play the, the piano, but uh, you know, I think I'm better just composing, like writing the lyrics and, and composing in, in, in the computer, uh, writing the songs, the, the melody and, and so on. To play itself, uh, I think I'm not that good. Okay. <laughs> Artist. <laughs> Do you have any song that's like published like on, oh, sorry, Spotify or YouTube or something? Yeah. So some some songs of all old projects I do have. Ooh, share with yeah. us later. It's gonna be great. So yeah. to listen. Sure. I do for sure. Righty. Now I, I relate because I, I don't play many instruments. I used to play only the Cajon and uh in a band church, in a church band. Uh so like mostly percussion are the things that I've played. And like just the basics, I've never really studied or anything. Uh, but one thing I like doing as well is writing and composing. I've I've made three songs, but nothing like very far from professional. Uh, two of them I made for like the church because for like projects and this kind of stuff. And one of them I made a heartbreak song, but nobody's ever listened to it. And nobody ever will. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. But the things I enjoy doing the most are writing. I've been trying to write a book, composing, and uh, singing. I love singing. Singing is really great. Not that I sing very well, but I still love doing it. Yeah, as I would say, just singing when you take a shower, you know? 
Yeah. No, if you were just in this, if it was just in the shower, it would be great. Yeah. I sing the entire day. My neighbors, they must hate me. <laughs> me too. I, I really like singing all day long too. It's it's awesome. It's not that it's, good, but it's it's great for me. <laughs> yeah, it's great for me. That's the thing. <laughs> you know, it's in the eye of the beholder, the pensi can have in there. Awesome. Let me see here. Is that have you ever been to an art museum? Yes, uh, it's a couple of months, maybe December. It was my last museum that I visited with my family, uh, especially in Campinas. Uh, Illusion Museum, I don't know what is the exactly name. It's totally great because it's realist. You know, everything that you around if you, you make it confusing. You're, you know, your mind just brought you a lot and you say, oh, it's not possible. I, I'm fly, but my foot's in the floor. Why? You know? And yes, it's it's really nice, especially this kind of thing is. But uh, 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 I don't understand it as well about it, the square, the artist from uh, to painting oil square, you know, it's, it's like a I, I need to understand it more, but um, it's a great, a great thing to do, you know. Awesome. And it's, uh, it, I love this idea of illusion museums because it's so crazy. Your senses, they get all like confused and you really think there are stuff like you're upside down or. Yeah, was... I remember there is the place that you, you get in and your head just m makes so big, you know. It's, I don't know why. <laughs> that must be awesome. That must yeah. be really cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, and what about you, uh, Fernando? When was the last time you've been to a museum? I've never been into an art museum, which is, uh, which is a shame because I, I like that. So I, I should go. <laughs> But uh, I don't know. I've been in some um, expositions, but uh, not a, an art museum. I would like to go. Awesome. It, it, it's a nice experience. What about you, Marcia? Uh, yes, it was uh, natural, but, uh, but I like I had a subject and called the humanities. And one of the activities was visit museums, exhibition. And for this, I visit the, 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 the lot of the, the museums exhibition. Awesome, that's pretty cool. So what's, what, what, where was the museum? Like... I, I, and I, I, I must be, and, I, I, I discover a museum and side of the the rota in Natura Dates in Sao Paulo have a, a museum too. I think oh, yeah. it's a sacra art sacra. Hmm? I, I and Sesc but for for uh, exhibition, not a museum. And I, I visited another museum. Uh, I don't remember the name. In the zone south of the Sao Paulo. Uh, Church Moderna. I don't know. don't remember the name. But uh, uh -huh. I, I visited some place. All righty. So there, there you guys go. A lot of... Uh suggestions of museums to visit. I didn't know there was a, a illusion museum here in, in Campinas. I thought it was only in Sao Paulo. Now I, now I wanna go to it. Is it like a temporary exhibition or a fixed exhibition? The one in Campinas is that? Do you know if it's temporary? No, it is uh, when you have, uh, for example, spend time with your family. Uh, it's inside of the shopping mall 
call name Dom Pedro. Oh, got it. But do you think, do you know if it's temporary, like if it's only for... No, yes. Uh, no, I guess it's, it's temporary. It's oh, a vacation nice. student. Oh, gotcha. Got it. Okay. Then I'm going to take a look into what day is in there. So like we... Yeah. Go. And after that, you just spend your time walking on the shopping place, do you know? Nice. That's great. Um, I've never visited any museum in Sao Paulo. And I've lived here for quite a while. But I most of the museums I visited were in Minas. I visited Inyochin two times because every school excursion was... <laughs> in Minas Gerais, every school excursion is on Inyochin. You go to Inyochin at least one time in your life, especially for the schools in the region I lived because they, they were very close uh, to it. And so I went there two times and I visited a few museums in... Ouro Preto, when I went there in a school excursion as well. But this was like basic education over 10 years ago. It's been a long while. All right. Now, Fernando, let me ask you here. Do you have a favorite artist? This is difficult because I have so many uh, favorite artists in each field of art. So a favorite one, it's, it's very difficult. It uh, depends on my, uh, on my mood at the time, maybe because it's keep changing. For example, I had always been more into rock music. Uh, I love rock music, but now I've been listening to pop music a lot. And some, something kind of, New for me, yeah. and I've been listening a lot, like Billie Eilish, and she is great. amazing. Yeah. yeah, she is amazing. So she's my favorite artist uh, right now at the moment. I don't know tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! If you like Billie, you should. Have you ever listened to her brother, Phineas? Yeah, he's His great. Music is awesome as well, especially yeah. as a producer. He, he's like a, an inspiration for me as a producer. He's an amazing producer. His job is so great. Awesome. Very good, very good. What about you, Marcio? What are your, what is, do you have a favorite artist? Uh, I, if I could talk about the music, I think there is a lot, but the, I, I, I remember something i i like uh, the hip hop and the street art it's like the gems uh, both the twins in english uh, who come out of this movement i, I like it. and that is also cobra cobra yeah, yeah. It's cobra is gems he's a great street artist here in brazil right yeah I've seen a few of his work when I was in Sao Paulo, like very close, and it was really nice, really nice. All right, very great. And what about you, Zé? Do you have a favorite artist? Yeah, it's not especially the uh, favorite artist, but uh, it's a group of artists from street, you know, Malabaris and Steirua, guys that make it a fancy shows for the public and but we, I when I was kids and I was in a high school I remember that he, I used to to hear a lot about Leonardo da Vinci some especially these famous guys that make the the oils painting uh, wonderful yeah and it's interesting to think that like there are so many different types of art we can like you know there's modern music classical music paintings and uh literature and statues and there's a lot of stuff you know to, yeah, to... this is an incredible skill uh let's try to get three balls and two balls in do you know i don't know if you'll get a success just three Ball. but there are a lot of guys just made 
to these uh, five, six balls. <laughs> yes, I can make with two. I can only make with two. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And of course, there are a lot of things with uh, a piece of stick and just getting fired the the points and just make a lot of uh, uh, malabaris. I don't know how can I say it's exactly English, but uh, it's nice. And when I uh, I'm driving and I just ring to, then I stop in it uh, traffic lights and try to give some, not like some tips, you know, not mm -hmm. like a, a lot of money because they deserve. It's it's like if I think this is like a, a piece of work. No, it really is. It really is. And sometimes you're just in like in a bad day yeah. and then you see a person doing something like this on the street and you think it's funny and you know, it brightens it. It's nice. Yeah. My daughter just loves uh, when she see about the guys doing something, say, take a look, Dad. It's it's funny. How is possible? <laughs> yes, you're like, yeah, no, you can do it too. Tell her you can do it. You can eat fire yeah. too. She's she's gonna love. You're gonna you're gonna get home. She's gonna be playing with fire. You're like, no, let's just leave it yeah. for the people on the street. <laughs> yes, and especially just get the point. Uh, do you think that the I don't know how can I say English, but circle, circle, there are a lot of artists. I do believe so. I think people yeah. in the circles they are artists. What do you guys think, Fernando Marcy? Yeah, I, I believe it is art. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, some people and um, talk about the oh. You know, the clown, clown is an art too. Used to be a clown. Yes. Oh, you remember? Have you guys ever watched Modern Family? I, I have watched some episodes a long, long time ago. I don't remember very well, but I kind of yeah. remember. Because there is one, there is one uh, character in Modern Family that he was a clown. And it was so funny because, like, he went to the school, to the clown school, then to the clown college. He had a lot of friends that were clowns as well. And uh, people would make jokes or, like, you know, uh, complain about him doing clown things. And he would very, get very upset. Uh, it was something very personal for him. It, and it was funny. And it's a kind of different way to see, you know, because... Uh, for us, it's just, oh, no, people who do funny things and, you know, but that's the profession and the life and the passion of some person, you know, and that's and, it, and, and it's a, a acting uh, thing too. Uh, they are acting and, and this is art for sure. Actually, the concept of art, I think, is very wide. A lot of things can be art. Art is... Uh, for me, is everything that can be can touch someone somehow. Yeah, I do believe so. I have a person in my social media that he write a book about the clown, Brazilian clown. Real? It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Okay. I would say my favorite artist is, oh, it's difficult <laughs> to choose from one person, but I would say my favorite one is, dang, it's hard. Musically speaking, I, I think I have two favorite artists. Mm -hmm. There are uh, Adele, because she sings marvelously. Her voice is just divine. It's great and uh ella fitzgerald she was a, a jazz singer from the eight i think 1860s or something like that she was great she was from the same generation of sinatra and louis, louis armstrong this kind of people uh she was a great singer an amazing artist and a very good person so i think she's like on my top off the tops okay now 
Question number four. What are some reasons that make art such an important subject? Not only a subject in school to be studied, but like a subject, something to pay attention, to be connected to, to study, to learn about. What do you think, Jose? What are some reasons why art is so important? I believe this is a talent. You know, when you are born, maybe you have some something inside of you and it make uh, you as artist. I don't know if, it, for example, if I want to sing, uh, I needed to try, try, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure if I get the success. I get the point, you know. Uh, I believe it is especially you need to born and to grow up as a, a talent. I believe you are muted. Sorry. <laughs> no, you think like it's better for people who are born with a talent to become an artist. It's easier, right? Like, yes. That's a focus. Okay. But uh, there are so many people uh, maybe inside of them have a talent, but uh, didn't figure out, you know, or needed to overcome this this skill, and some something you needed to get some help from the professional guys to discover that. Yeah. And then it's it's very important to be connected to work yeah. because sometimes you have a talent that you might not have discovered yet because you yeah. didn't live the experience. So that's interesting. What do you say, Marcia? What are some reasons why art is such um, an important subject? It's very important. I think it breaks a little bit of a routine with the color, sounds, sensations. And sometimes it's a trigger for good things. I, I, I remember a concert that I watched on YouTube and Tade Adu. Uh, interesting for me was the, the public watching the Sadea do and the dance and, or smile during the, 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 the sound. It, it's very interesting. And the, another example, a long time ago, I, I, I go to the concert for Roger Water, for Kebu. My God, the impression. And, and, and before then, he start the, 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 the concert, the, the, the sound, and around the, the stage of it, impression, I don't know, the, the work is different. I, I like it. It's different. It's the the vibe, you know, when you oh, get yeah, close, yeah. It, it feels different. Awesome. And what about you, Fernando? Do you agree with the guys about talent and the vibes and triggering? And why do you think art is such an important subject? Totally, I agree uh, with the guys. Uh, I, I have been in, in Roger Walter's concert, Marcio, in, in this last tour that uh, he, he was here in Brazil. I, I have been in his concert here in Brazil, and it was the most amazing concert that I've ever mm -hmm. been. Because of that, that that the whole experience is not just the music, but just the music. Yeah, the, it's the vibe. Different. It it's a, a, an amazing experience. It was, uh, and I believe that. Oh my gosh, art is uh, is a way to express yourself. And at the same time, people um, feed themselves with that, feel like their mood, their feelings. So it's, it's a connection thing. And, and it's so important. It, it involves creativity, uh, which is something that we need, uh, like, like 
human beings <laughs> you are uh, move uh, um, through creativity you know the the technology advances because of that and and everything moves because of that so it's it's a, a basic uh, thing in, in our society it's so important yeah i would agree with all you guys said like uh art for me is a way of portraying emotion um by many different means but the purpose of art would be to trigger something in you and to make you feel something and as marcy said sometimes it's a nice way to break your 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 routine sometimes it's a something to make you feel good to give you energy to make you rethink your life uh to make you feel sadness happiness love and this kind of stuff and i think that's really important because sometimes it's difficult for us to feel something especially like in life with work we've got so caught up in all these routine and all these things we need to do in responsibility and we stop feeling because it's easier to deal with everything when we're not <laughs> feeling and sometimes you just need to, you know to vent to let your emotions flow and to cry a little bit to 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 you know to feel better so and then you just you know listen to a song where you see something and that makes you have this feeling and so i think that's like why art is such an important subject and why people should be more connected to it right now i'm gonna skip to question number 10 because i want to to go for a more touchy polemic subject which is spending money with art because i i think going to shows or you know buying a movie this kind of stuff it's more common maybe even by hand handcrafts like when you go to the beach then you go to the street market you buy yourself some tiles some statues some colors things like that but <laughs> some artwork like statues like uh paintings this is kind of more weird for some people to spend money on uh Marcia, do you think it's worth to spend money on pieces of artwork uh, <laughs> I, I i spend my money a lot of time but uh, years ago with the hedge fruits <laughs> <It's just, laughs> like those ones you you lay down yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't oh, know. nice. <laughs> I bought the head for my mom, for my sister, for my aunt. You're like, Marcio, you want to come to my house for lunch? And you're like, yeah. And then you get for lunch. You're, hey, here, head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's nice. That's really cool. Did you buy it from like, uh, stores or from uh, artists like no artists in the street in the beach. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great, and it's also comfortable, you know, because it's like an investment. You're gonna use it later. Awesome. What do you say to that? Do you think it's worth it to spend money on pieces of artwork? No, I don't think it is worth it. I think it uh, can be a symbol of success. You know. If it's depending of the the profile from person, there are a lot of people just like art, paint oil, or just uh, as you said, tattoo. Tattoo is a a great, amazing art that you draw on the the skin. But there are uh, opposite op opposite guy opposite guys opposite guys that they uh, don't like. I don't know why. But uh, I guess it, it's, as I said in the beginning, it's a, a symbol of success, you know? Yeah, I think so. For the artist in, in itself, right? Yes. Right. And of course, can be investment. Because as old as art, you maybe could be a better thing to earn money. Yeah, art got valued in time, right? 
Yes. But oh. in my case, I just, <laughs> I don't have enough money to buy some uh, great farm art. Yes. And the problem of art is, is interesting that, for example, you might buy, you buy a, a, a little statue from a guy on the street today. Yeah. It might be nothing. It might be worth nothing. But maybe in five years, this guy gets famous. And then your work from when the guy was poor just becomes yeah. incredibly valuable. It's crazy. It happens to all the artists. Like some people bought paintings from Michelangelo. They never thought it would be as uh, worthy as they are right now. They would never be so valuable. People would be crazy if they knew, right? Yes. And I remember that the last year I watched the series from Netflix called Name Lupin. And especially the guys, it's a uh, expertise professional to stealing a lot of art from um, Londres, especially. And yeah, and I I have no idea how there are a lot of people to get engaged in uh, a famous art and spend a bunch of money. Do you know? It's a rich person. Yeah, it's expensive to acquire art. All righty. Yeah. And what do you say, Fernando? Do you think it's it's worth it spending money on pieces of art? Yeah, I, I do believe it's worthy and it's uh, necessary that people do that. Uh, I think it's better that you buy from an artist than through uh, uh, from a company. Uh, because the artist is doing uh, a piece of, of art, but it's also uh, his or her work. So it's, it's really nice. But I think those, um, you know, historical uh, pieces of art shouldn't be available for selling or uh, they should be in a museum available to everyone, you know, like those big paintings, historical paintings, because it's not fair that uh, some rich guy buy it and put in in their uh, room. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think that's that's it. This is the the bound. It's like. Oh, this this painting is so great. It makes you think so much. It could it, it changes your life. I'm gonna buy it and put it in the bathroom. It's like <laughs> yeah, exactly. And a lot of rich people do that. Yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, but yeah, as as I said, for the artists, the most money they get is a sign of success, and for the people, the most money they spend on a piece of art is also a, a indicator of success so paying a million for a painting to put it in your bathroom is like oh my god this person is so influent Fernandez got a, a Picasso in his living room he's he's the he's the man you know but yeah it's not fair <laughs> All right. but I do think it's it's worth as long as it has value to you. Because, oh, I'm going to buy a Picasso just because I can, just because I have the money. It's not changing anything in your life, you know. Now, if it's something, oh, I want to buy this piece of art because it's something I saw and it made a difference in me and something that inspires me really, then, yeah, I think it's totally worth it. It doesn't matter what kind of art you're getting. If it's like a sculpture or if it's a piece of, if it's all, you know, though, when you're walking on the street, there's people doing uh, keychains with wire. For them, traveling is going to I, I have one of these. I lost it. <laughs> all right, great. Now, the last question we're going to have time to answer here is let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, question number six. I'm curious about that. Fernando, if you could become an excellent artist, like very good, even famous, which type of art would you 
want to learn, would you want to be a great artist at? Um, music, music. I, I would be like Michael Jackson, like a genius, a genius of music. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> great. You, would you do pop like him or would you go for other genres? Um, I don't know. I don't know because when, when you are a genius like that, you don't have a, a limit. You, you can go everywhere and do amazing things. So, oh my gosh, it would be great. <laughs> no, yeah, that's that's interesting because when a person is really, really good at music, they can do pretty much anything, right? From bossa nova to heavy metal, they just understand it. Yeah, and and he actually is is one of the one of my favorite artists of all time because I do believe he was a genius in this musical and art, artistically uh, speaking field. Oh, that's great. Yeah, he was really great. I, I don't know actually much of his history, but like just a few songs, but he was awesome. Alrighty. What do you say, Marcio? If you could become an amazing, a perfect, a very good artist at something, what art would it be? Uh, best player. Uh, it's very beautiful, the sound of the best for me. It's perfect for me, the sound. I like. Yeah. And the bass is so good because it gives a groovy vibe, you know, like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Okay, we, 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 you would be a bass player, a bass player in what? Like a pagodi bass player, a samba bass player, a rock bass player? Ah, no, I, 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 yeah, rock maybe, but um, I, I listen to some bass player about the, I don't know, here, here it's not the, the funk. But the funk, not the funk Miami bed from Brazil. But uh, like uh, Earth and the Fire or, or the or, more the yeah. more traditional funk for like yeah, yeah, American. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That would be nice. What about you, that? She could become an amazing, very great artist at something. What would it be? Um, especially uh, to be a part of the group from Cirque du Soleil. Ooh. Yeah. Awesome. I agree. It's, uh, uh, it's my, my, my wish this year to uh, visit your try to buy uh, expensive tickets to getting the, the gig, you know, the shows. Nice. Yeah. Take a do, look. Yeah, do you know this is tickets from Circuit de Soleil, it's expensive? They are very expensive. They yeah. are very <laughs> but you know what? My my sister and my and her friend, they've been to a show before. Uh, they say it's really great. They try to go whenever it's possible. And they usually get discount on the tickets because they are Prodesco clients. Okay. So if you want to take a look at that, it's yeah. maybe worth it. Yes, I have a lot of friends that got this this concert and say that it's like a magic, you know. Yeah, it must be really cool. They really put a lot of work into that. Do you know that the the creator of Cirque du Soleil? Uh, I think his name is Guy. He his dream was going to space. Yeah, he actually did it. Right? Yeah, I guess because now it's possible. It's like a a, a trans a public not public transportation, private transportation. If you yeah. are rich, yes, it's possible. Just need the money. <laughs> yeah, a lot of money. <laughs> lot of money. <laughs> Yeah, his name is Guy L Guy Guy. I don't know if it's Guy or Guy because it's with Y. Uh, La Liberté. He's been to space. He went to space. When did he go? Here. 
I'm gonna show you guys a picture. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were the you were the host, Jose. Can you give oh, me? Oh, uh, okay. Let's see a moment. I needed to click in your name and make your host Mar. Oh no! Now it's mine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Here, he's been to space. It was really fun. Yeah, funny. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I think he's out to going, guys. Yeah, and it's something really interesting because then you you're like, so a lot of people think that people hope that work in the circus they don't like. It's not something profitable, not something that gives a lot of money, but that's the complete opposite. The guy got so rich they he was able to go to space, you know. Yeah. So it's really a lesson. Now, what about you, Fernando? Oh, no, Marcia. Marcia, no. What is, I asked everybody. Yes, every time. Okay, my turn. <laughs> if I could become a very good artist at something, I would want to be uh, an actor. No, a singer. No, an actor. No, a singer. I don't know. <laughs> An actor that, that sings or a singer that acts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a theater actor, because theater actors, they always sing. So then we could be both. But yeah, probably in these. I think acting is really great. Bringing a character to life, making people believe you're another person. You know, I think this is really great. And it's so powerful that sometimes we see the same person playing different characters and we feel like it's a different person. So I think it's, it's amazing this art, this uh, ability of doing this, and music is it's music, it's, you know. Being able to to make something that makes people feel good is just something else. Okay, I'm gonna bring everybody back in here for us to wrap up this conversation. Um, I want to see you listen to one of your, some of your songs. She can share with us in the group later. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I I will uh, choose something to to share. <laughs> Louise, awesome. Um, it's already two in the afternoon. Jesus Christ, time goes by so fast. <laughs> yes, the time fly. Yeah, exactly. And let me see here. People are still talking. They were waiting for the last second to come back. <laughs> One second. Okay. Welcome back, people. I love it when you guys don't wait until the next until the last second to come back because that's what, what how I know you guys are still involved in the conversation. <laughs> awesome. Let me ask you guys, how was, Vanda, how was the conversation for you over there? Hi, ah, it's amazing. We like a lot the conversation, we get the, the four rule. <laughs> Ooh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's a good, really good conversation. And um, I, I know now Alejadinho don't exist. What? Yeah, Gabriel said to us, it's a, a lenda. What is lenda in, in English? A legend is a legend. It's a legend, not a subtitle. <laughs> oh my God, I, I, how? How? <laughs> Ask for Guilherme. Guilherme, uh, bring us this new. That's interesting. What do you have to say about it, Gabriele? Alejandro not existent. No, Guilherme. Guilherme. No, Gui oh, no, Guilherme has already... Oh, I thought it was Gabriele. Guilherme has already left. Ah, nah, left because of this. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I said, I, I told some secrets. I have to go. <laughs> yeah. Charles uh, almost cry about this news. 
Yeah, that's something unexpected. Yeah. I said, reality has a name. It's not an, it has a nickname like a Lejardin and a name. No, it's a group of arts and put this, this kind of name. Interesting. It's really? the first time I heard that. Me too. I searched in Google and it's like it's saying like it was a person. So I don't know. I think it's a mystery. It's even it is even here the day he was, he was born, the day he was he passed. Uh, so I don't know. It's uh, it's a mystery. Yes, it's quite different because here uh, I think it was Antonio the name of the guy, right? <clears throat> yeah, Antonio. So okay. Antonio Francisco Lisboa. Yeah, that's it. But then. I don't know. I, I found an article here talking about a book that contests the existence of a Legetinho. I'm going to take a read later. And if I discover anything, I share with you guys in the group. Okay. Okay. <laughs> guys, that's going to be it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the conversation. Thank you all for participating. Um, and make art, feel art, leave art, share art with people because it's something really good, something that makes us feel connected, and it's amazing. Thank you, Josef, for helping here with the immersion today. Yeah, thanks, so, guys. I hope you have a great Friday. Yes. Link for the feedbacks in the chat. Don't forget to drink water. Love you all so much. Have an amazing weekend, and see you guys in the next immersion. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.